Alright, so now that we have all the pieces uh, cut to size, we're going to have to start drilling holes. Uh, as you can see right here, this is the finished design. Goes like that, goes back. Um, I don't know if you can see it that well, but there's a hole there, a hole there, a hole there for the string, and another hole that I'll explain later uh, on the letter opener. When you open, when you get your letter opener, if you get the one I got, it's going to already have a hole. So we only have to make three now. And this hole right here is going to go right, right there. Um, I made a mark right there. It's an inch and a quarter away. And this hole right here, you're going to use those tools to tap it. So you're going to drill it once with the smaller size drill. And then use the other drill to tap it. And then we'll make another one later. Uh, so once you've done that, as you can see, the screw goes in there and it doesn't fall out. That's exactly what you want. Okay. So now that I've done that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to countersink this right here. So that when I screw this into here, like that, um, this... This goes down and is flat with the uh, letter opener. Uh, so when you go to countersink the letter opener, you'll uh, notice that the blade actually it bends down right here. It goes down and then straight. So you want it this way when you countersink it, not that way, where it bends up. So make sure you have it like this and countersink on that side because we're trying to make everything compact and we want the blade to be closer to the to the large slide and inner slide and not farther away like that so just pay attention to that alright perfect so as you see when I put the screw through it's pretty much flat that's exactly what we want so now we can take this put it on the piece that we cut before and then mount it onto the uh, the inner slide Uh, as you can see it's on there it's exactly what we want next thing we have to do is uh... make another hole right there it's going to be three inches in the or it's my bad two inches and three quarters away from this side so it's going to be like right there at the end so i'm going to mark that and then drill it okay i have my mark this honestly isn't that important where you put the second hole for this. Um, it could be right there, there. I like it at the edge, so I put it two inches and three quarters. But it's really up to you. Okay. I'm just going to put some tape on this to make sure it doesn't spin while it's on there. Hopefully that will keep it in place. Alright. So I drilled the hole just have to take this tape off and then what you're going to want to do is take this off the letter opener countersink that right there and then tap the uh... the inner slide so that's what I'm going to do right now alright before I forget um... before you actually uh... countersink this you're going to want to drill a bigger hole because you don't want it to uh, screw in here you want it to screw into the piece below so grab a larger drill bit, drill a bigger hole doesn't have to be this big but just big enough to slide the the screw in and then countersink it alright so 
Now if you look at it, I can just take the screw right here, slide it through, no problem. That's what you want. Now you can countersink it. All right, there you go. So that the letter opener is done for now. So now you just gotta tap this right here. So if we put this on here. Uh, so there, this is what it would look like if it was attached, so I'm not going to screw it in right now. So your hole for the string, you just want it to be on the letter opener, but past this right here. So like, I don't know, like, maybe a quarter inch past, uh, not even, like an eighth of an inch past the inner slide. That's enough. So just drill a little hole right there, enough to pass whatever kind of string you're using, and you're done with that. Alright, so there's a hole for the string, and you're done with that. Alright, so for the last hole that we're going to make on the letter opener, you're going to be using the drill bit that you got in the self-tap kit, and that self-tap uh, drill it should be in here. Alright, so my suggestion for where to drill it is uh, go as far as you can where it's still flat on the letter opener. So like, see how it bends there, you want to do it just before it starts bending. That's where I would drill it. Um, if you want exact dimensions, I'll put all that in the, in the Instructables, so you can click on that link below if you want to go there. So uh, drill that with the small drill bit first and then self-tap it. But when you self-tap it, or tap it, uh, you want to flip it over so that you're going in this way and the, it curves up. Usually it'd be this way for this hole right here in particular. You're going to want to do it the opposite and make sure it curves up and then self-tap going down. So yeah. What I'm doing here is I'm just going to, I'm not really countersinking, I'm just using the tip of the countersink to uh, get all this metal here that stuck out from the drilling. It's really just another way to grind it pretty much. Alright, so now that I ground that down, I'm going to use a tap drill and I'm gonna tap it. Make sure uh, when you tap it, it bends up. It's really important. Alright, so now that we're done drilling holes in uh, the letter opener, and the inner slide, we can attach that right there. Use those uh, screws I gave you. And then you can put a screw in the side too. Alright, so once you put your screws in, you'll notice that they're a little too big and they go through. And uh, like these right here, if you were to put this on here, they would hit the slider, so it wouldn't work. So if you're using the same screws I am or longer screws, what you're gonna have to do is mark these, mark them like at the end, like where you want to cut them. Okay, so before you go ahead and uh, put this in the vise and cut off the extra screw, what you're gonna want to do is put a nut on, and that's there because once you cut off the extra screw, the threads are gonna be screwed up. Ha, lol. Um, <laughs> Wow, I cracked myself up. Alright, so the threads are going to be a little messed up. So what you're going to do is, once you cut it off, you're going to take the nut. And when you take that nut off, it's going to put the threads in the right position. So that's why you want that there. Tot. Okay. So as you... Oh, shoot, that's really hot. Alright. Okay. Put it there. Oh, okay, so as you can see, uh, cut off that extra... Uh, screw in now I'm just going to take the nut off that will fix the threads and then you can put that in just do that for all three and you'll be all set okay so now that you've cut your screws so that they fit and put everything together this is what you should have 
it's looking pretty good right now. So uh, the next thing to do is take your ruler. You don't really need a ruler. Any, all you need is some kind of metal that springs a little and then goes back into its original shape. You can use like a saw or anything. I think it's called spring metal. But anything that you can bend and it'll go back to its original shape, that's what you need. So, but if you do use a ruler, uh, as you can see, I didn't videotape this, but uh, what you need to do is bend it so that when you put it on the back of your hidden blade and mount it to uh, the large slide, uh, the fold will go down. I'm trying to make it so you can see. The fold will go down and uh, it'll touch the uh, letter opener. And so when you when you uh, fling open your uh, blade, uh, it'll, it'll push past this uh, this ruler right here. And it, but then when it comes back, it's gonna hit that, and it won't be able to go back. See that? And I put a little gap right there so that it has some movement to go past it and then come back. Uh, so I'll put the dimensions on Instructables if you don't uh, eye it yourself. So yeah, and then uh, once you do that, got to drill two holes on the back, one in the front. The reason these holes are so far back is so that uh, you can still pull this down so that you can release the blade and let it go back in. Otherwise, if you mounted it up here, you wouldn't be able to do that. You wouldn't be able to pull it back at all. And uh, the two holes that you drill on the mount, or the large slide, you gotta tap those so that when you screw in the screw, it stays in. And for this, I know I said uh, get flat heads and all that, but what you're gonna need is something like this so that you, because you won't be able to countersink this. This isn't thick enough. So you can't countersink that, so you need to get something like this. And uh, same as the last one. Uh, make sure it fits and then if it does cut it off because uh, you don't want to go too far otherwise you'll hit the slider so cut your uh, screws unless you have one that's the right size and uh, you should be done with that also I don't know if I mentioned what this hole is for uh, it's, uh, it's for a string I'll show you later what it does Okay, so if you've done what I said, uh, you'll have the this mounted on and everything. As you see, uh, I extended it past it, and now it won't go back in. So it's working. Next thing you're going to do is uh, take a spring. I recommended a 3-inch spring. Uh, however, I only have a 3 and a quarter inch. So what you're going to have to do is shorten that up. And when I say 3-inch, I mean from the tip of this to that. Not just the compressed part. So from here. So, uh... Alright, so once you've cut your spring and uh, made that loop in it, what you're going to do is put it uh, on the end here with that screw in that nut. I put my uh, spring underneath the nut. And then you're going to take your uh, string right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's in there. It goes in through there. You're going to thread it underneath the slider so it comes out over here. Uh, take it. Put it through your spring, like so, and then take it and thread it on top of the slider this time, underneath the inner slide. There we go. Okay. Then what you're going to want to do is uh, put it underneath, or put it through that hole that we made for the string on the letter opener. Oops. Uh, the hole that we made right there. Just put it through there. There we go. Put it back, 
put that screw back in. Okay. Then what you're going to want to do is release this first. Then pull it all the way back so it's like that. So it's touching the end. And then tie it right there. Make sure you have a nice knot. Alright, just like that. And now you can uh, test it out. Pull it all the way out. Release it. And it should draw back. See, there didn't go all the way. Uh, if it gets stuck like, like right here or there, all you need to do is uh, take this inner inner slide and just compress it a little more so it, it rolls along a little easier. Or you can shorten up your spring and make it even more uh, taunt, I guess you would say. And so that's that. The last thing you have to do is uh, take a string, tie it right here, and then make a loop for your finger. So that when you mount it, and you uh, pull or uh, take the blade out, all you have to do to make it go back in is uh, pull on your finger, and uh, it'll go straight back in. I'll just show you that in a sec. Okay, so if you take the string, tie it to the ruler right there, and then make a loop in it, or tie it to the, the keychain, which is what I do. Uh, just put that loop on your finger. I like to put it on my middle finger. It doesn't really matter. Fully extend this, and then uh, if you pull on your whatever finger is on it, on the loop, just a little bit, it should go back in just like this. And as you can see, it goes all the way in. And uh, if it doesn't go all the way in, like I said, if it stops right there, tighten that up, compress it, or maybe take some balls out so it's less friction. And uh, if, that, if none of that works, you can always switch the spring, maybe uh, use a stronger one, or shorten it up. But uh, if it does work, then you've completed your first Scyphoid or uh, Assassin's Creed blade. So I'm not going to go into how I mount this on my arm for two reasons. The first reason being I'm going to Ecuador tomorrow, so I don't have enough time to. But also I don't like how I have it mounted at, at this moment. As you can see, this is my first blade I ever made. The one that's on YouTube. And uh, all I'm using to mount it on my arm is some... Uh, springs, or uh, my bad, belts, losing my train of thought, so uh, I don't think it looks good, I don't really like it, it's not that comfortable, so I'm not going to show you guys how I did it, uh, I think it's a better idea for you guys to play around, come up with a better idea, if you come up with a really good idea that looks nice and is comfortable, let me know, you can make a video and post it on this, uh, in the comments, and uh, yeah. I might make my own tutorial later on on how to make a mount. I have some synthetic leather that I might use in my shin guard. But until then, play around with it, enjoy, and thanks for watching. Hey guys, I just want to thank you once more for watching this video. If you found it useful and you liked it, give it a like, comment, subscribe, share it, everything helps. Uh, as you know, I'm leaving the Ecuador in a couple of hours, so uh, if you have any questions, send me, uh, send me a message or comment, and when I come back, I'll be able to answer. Um, let me know how I did on this tutorial. It's my first one, and I tried to make it really easy and step-by-step uh, step so you can just follow it, but uh, let, me, let me know how I did, and I uh, just want to thank you one more time.